Folks, 1 Corinthians 2.9 tells us that I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor has entered in the hearts of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Such amazing blessings by God, though, don't always come without a little sacrifice. Alan Parr has joined us to tell about his own personal faith journey to help us in ours. Folks, I'm so glad to have Alan Parr of Alan Parr Ministries. He's got The Beat on YouTube. You want to check out that channel. Alan, please share from your own personal testimony how people can understand that the Christian life, that there's so much blessing and hope that God has for us, but often we don't get it because we're not willing to sacrifice the control of our life. Tell us about a little of your story to help us in our own faith journey. Yeah, you know, I feel like my entire adult life, really my Christian life, is just one faith step or faith decision after another. And I think there's really been three major, I call them faith moves in my life that have really gotten me to where I am today. And you basically talked about it earlier. Oftentimes we we are afraid of stepping out on faith because it's the unknown. We don't quite know. We're kind of safe where we are. Don't trust that God's going to follow through. We don't trust that. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So we're kind of not sure. So we kind of stay in our safe zone. And I've often said that, you know, in order to get the rewards of faith, you have to be willing to take the risks of faith. And so, um, you know, just thinking first and foremost, I think the very first major faith move that I had to make was when I was about 24 years old. I um, was working as an engineer for a couple of years and making really, really good money. I just got out of college, went to graduate school, and I was also starting to um, volunteer at my church uh, in Detroit, Michigan at the time. And so I was, to, uh, I was teaching Bible studies in the evenings, doing some youth ministry, and I just felt this tug like, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is what I'm called to do. This is what I was created to do. And then I got a chance to preach my first sermon at a church and that's when I knew for sure, like, this is what I was called to do. So now I have a decision to make. OK, so I was broke in college, as we all were, like, didn't have a lot of money. Now I'm finally making a lot of money, got these company cars, got this great company I'm working for. But I feel called to be in ministry. Okay. And so I had this first major faith move. Am I going to stay safe where I'm at? Am I going to stay in this career? Am I going to stay just in this comfort level where I knew I didn't really enjoy my job? but it was comfortable, it's what I knew, and it was safe, and it was a lot of money. Or am I going to quit my job, give up everything, wow. go all the way down to a place called Dallas, Texas, and attend a seminary called Dallas Theological Seminary, and go back to being a student, not making any money, and then when you come out four years later, you're a minister. So you know you're not going to make any money. Well, you're going to pay off that college debt. Yeah. Exactly, right. <laughs> so um, so the, that was one of the decisions that I made a pivotal decision I had to make early in my Christian walk that has ended up getting me to where I am today, which I'll share a little bit later. But I made that decision and ever since that day, I have not looked back. And then another major faith move happened, or, and that was in 2000. Okay. All right, another major faith move for me happened around 2014. I was at a church. I was very happy. I was comfortable. I was teaching Bible study every single Wednesday. I was preaching six to eight times a year. So, I mean, I was getting paid for it. I was on staff. I mean, everything was great. Great people, great church. But I sensed that there was time for me to move on. I sensed that God had something greater for me, something different for me. And uh, at the time I was teaching about 40, 50 people on a Wednesday night. And at, the, and at that time I thought that was great. I was content. I was happy with that. Mm -hmm. And right around that time, God started putting on my heart to do a YouTube channel. Okay. And I didn't know anything about YouTube, didn't know anything about video editing, Photoshop, marketing, or anything like that. I just felt that God had a bigger platform for me to get his word out to his people. And so once again, here I am again, having that decision to make. And it feels like every time I was on these faith journeys, God was pressing me or prompting me to give up something financially. Okay. I had to give up my pretty lucrative career when I was uh, an engineer. And now I'm having to give up this, this position at this church that was a really good part-time job for me. But um, I gave that up, started um, teaching, excuse me, started developing my YouTube channel, starting to learn that. 
And so that was like another major move that I had to do in order to get to where I am today, which I'll share with people in just a moment. But then the third major move happened about three years later in 2017. My wife and I were expecting our first child. I was teaching high school math as a full-time high, uh, high school math teacher. Now, most people would think you're crazy to just give up uh, your job with benefits and everything right when your ch first child is getting ready to be Absolutely. born. Absolutely. Yeah. But about three months after our uh, daughter was born, I quit my job as a teacher and started my own math tutoring company. So I went full time, gave everything up. And that was once again, another faith move. And so I say all that to say that thankfully by God's grace, he has sustained us financially. He's provided for us. He's given me complete and total freedom with my schedule to be able to take care of my kids. Um, he's provided once again, financially in ways that I never could have imagined. So if I would have been so, uh, can, if I would have been so focused on holding on to this career that I had in 2000, uh, I can just honestly say, just being honest with you guys, God has blessed me financially to make more money now as a, a minister and doing what I love to do, doing YouTube videos, speaking around the country and doing things like this, but more importantly, having the freedom and flexibility to be with my family and do what I love to do, to do what I would be doing for free. So these are just I just wanna encourage people, if there's something that you know that God's pressing on your heart to do, like a faith move, obviously get counsel and seek wisdom from other people, but don't be afraid to step out on faith because it could be the very step that unlocks God's destiny for your life.